What is the thing that, that you're most proud of that your team's accomplished? One example that I think pulls out the, the, the point you're making very clearly is we had a, a group of um, caregivers in our NICU down in our hospital in St. George, um, led by Dr. Eric Rideout, and they started looking at how they cared for these babies in the, uh, the neonatal intensive care unit and found that they were taking blood from these babies regularly to get tests and, and the team started challenging how often do we use that data to change the course of care for a baby. It's often used to just check and monitor along the way but when does it actually get used to change care and rather than poke these babies with needles or do other things that are invasive and disruptive to them can we narrow that down and so they launched a, a project they called poke you know eliminate as many pokes as you can and what can we do to save these babies? What we found was these babies recovered faster, returned home sooner, uh, their cost of care was less. It was all the right things to do for those babies, for their families, for the community. Counterintuitively. It's counterintuitive. Less data resulted in a better outcome. Yeah, resulted in a better outcome as they really mapped out that care and what they needed. As they did that, when we look back at the impact and then spread that across our system, the cost to Intermountain Healthcare to do the right thing is $50 million a year. Wow. So the question is, would you do the right thing for a baby if you knew how to do it? And the answer is absolutely we would. 